right, I thought it was time for another PC board. Um, I wanted, well, let me back up. Um, I was watching some YouTubers measure inductance and capacitance using a VNA. And I've always been a little skeptical of that unless the reactance values were close to 50 ohms because it's a 50 ohm bridge. And as you move away from a 50 ohm bridge, your um, accuracy is going to drop. Uh, but people seem to do it. And uh, I thought that would be interesting. Some people have made little test fixtures and stuff. Those look too complicated for my taste. Um, and so I thought I would do a little test board. And uh, so this is, this is the board. So it has four test sections. Uh, the first test section here is just a um, 50 ohm load or something to ground. Some, it could, could be a capacitor to ground. It could be a resistor to ground. It could be an inductor to ground. Yeah, I shouldn't say 50 ohm load, but I'm gonna, that's the way I'm going to test it out originally um, is to load a 50 ohm resistor there. Anyway, uh, so that one is just a transmission line to ground. Uh, the second one is a transmission line with a component in series. And then this one is just a transmission line. And this is kind of a test thing. Um, make sure that I can control the impedances correctly. I'll measure this and hopefully it's around 50 ohms. And then the last one is a um, transmission line with a component to ground uh, in the middle of the transmission line there. So, um, there's also a bunch of vias. I did via stitching here. So these vias, uh, let's see here, let me... So there will be a copper pour. There'll be uh, uh, copper on the top and bottom. And uh, there will be these um, vias that are stitched to ground. So we'll have ground controlled uh, impedance everywhere. So that's also a first for me. I haven't I haven't done that before. So that will be fun. Um, now, uh, controlled impedance. I want it to be 50 ohms. So how do I do that? All right. So um, I did some calculations. So let me go show you those. All right. So I'm going to be using a program called AppCAD. I've showed this before, and it is free for download if you search for it. Um, let's see here. Let's go to... On the main page, there will be uh, transmission lines. And when you go into transmission lines, then you can hit coplanar waveguide. So this is what I'm going to have. I'm going to have a center conductor followed, uh, surrounded by grounds and then a ground underneath. Um, so you can, at the very, very top here, it says with ground plane, no ground. But if you click that, there's no ground plane on the bottom. But I will have a ground plane on the bottom. So I'm going to have three sides of ground. And uh, if I just do a calculation on this, calculate these zeros, you can see the impedance is all wrong. So I'm going to want to do this. Um, in the past, uh, I have made some attempts at this using a, um, a 16th inch thick PC board, the 63 mil PC board. And you end up with very large uh, sizes of things. The best way to do this is to do a four-layer board and just use the outer two layers, and maybe I'll do that in the future. But right now, I'm thinking, well, I'll just do a thinner board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the board thickness to 32. I'm in units of mils. I have 32 mils of board, board thickness. And I'm going to have a 40 mil wide trace. Uh, and let's just do a quick calculation on that. We're at 74 ohms. Um, and then let's widen the gap. Five, five is too narrow. I'm going to open that up to 10 and, um, let's see here. All right. So then I'm in free space. So the dielectric of the material is FR4. So it lets, it lets me choose that. So I'm going to choose FR4 and do a calculation. Look at that. 50.0. <laughs> Not too bad, huh? So that's what I'm going to go into my layout program. I'm going to change the track width to 40 and the spacing, airspace to uh, 10. And the thickness of the board, when I order them, I need to specify I want a 32 mil board. 
made out of FR4. And uh, that's what I did here. Uh, these are um, 40 mil traces. If I do a properties, it says it's 40 wide. And then in order to get the spacing, the 10 mil spacing, when you do the fill, you want to have this to be, let me turn off the blue line, blue trace, uh, layer, layer, layer. Oops, just a second. Let me turn off the blue so it'll go black on you. There we go. So this is the space that I want to have 10. And I do that by setting the parameters. Let's see here. Global attributes? No. Uh, design rules? I think maybe it's in design rules. Design rules, clearances, yeah. And under design rule clearances, I tell it I want 10 mil clearances everywhere. So when it does a copper pour, it, um, it adheres to this design rule and makes everything 10. So I should have 40 and 10, and uh, we'll see how that works. Uh, I have it laid out for SMA connectors. And uh, what I'm going to do is um, I would like this board to be gold. Uh, I just think that would be more microwavy. <laughs> and um, I don't want any solder mask anywhere. I want the thing bare metal. Um, and I'm going to order these. I'm not going to go for the gold right away because I think that's probably a waste of money. So I'm just going to... Um, uh, try this out with just a uh, hot air level tin uh, hot air level uh, solder and uh, we'll see how uh, we'll see how that turns out so I've ordered these and we'll have to wait for them all right it's been about five seconds and I've got PC boards in my hand isn't that wonderful <laughs> um, so uh, I have to thank uh, PCB way for generously supporting the channel um, they don't ask for any advertisement. They just give me free PC boards, so uh, kudos to them. Uh, I thought I would try something uh, unusual and uh, use a thin board. So, uh, yeah, these are, these are thin boards. Uh, they're half the thickness of a normal board. And, uh, like I said, I wasn't going to put solder mask on, on either side. Um, and they turned out real good. Uh, the holes are real small, nice RF stitching. Um, yeah, I like them. They are smoother than I thought they would be, so I was a little bit worried about it being bumpy. Um, like I said, I want to, um, when, I, when I have these dialed in to where I want them, I'm going to have them gold, gold flashed, and uh, that, will, that will be really nice. And... Um, but these turned out real smooth, uh, very, very nice. Now, the reason I didn't put any solder masks anywhere, because I wanted the flexibility of soldering things anywhere I wanted. Uh, maybe I could put a solder mask on the back, but uh, it's just ground, so I don't know. I don't think I want it there either. I think I just want them, I just think I want them bare. Um, and yeah, they look, they look pretty good. So let me show you one with some parts on it. Uh, so I've, uh, let me take this thing off here. Um, so I've added some connectors to it and uh, they look pretty good. Now one, one issue that I do have is these uh, connectors. Let me get out a fresh one. Um, you can buy these S well, here, let me show you. I've got this huge, huge collection now. Um, they're so darn cheap. They're, they're, you might as well buy a bunch of them because they're, they're almost no money at all. <laughs> and so I have um, two varieties that I make sure I have a lot of. And so let me grab this and I'll, I'll show you those a little, a little bit closer here. Okay, so this one has four, four legs and then a center, center conductor. Okay, so that's usually for uh, PC boards where the a connector goes straight up. You'll have four vias and then the center conductor. And uh, they also make another version, which is also four legs, but the, 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 instead of having it on the edge, they bring it up here to the middle. And that allows you to put it on a, uh, let me grab a board here. Uh, if you have a normal uh, thickness board, uh, which is 062, 
uh, 62 thousandths of an inch, uh, the spacing is exactly that, and it's nice and nice and solid. So if you solder it on the front or the back, it's really nice rigidly. Um, really nice rigidly. I don't know if that makes any sense. Okay, um, but if you have a thin board, then the connector is kind of all wobbly in there, and it doesn't really want to self-center. So that's the one downside of having this thin board. I guess I could have had them come out straight, use that other one and had them come out straight um, if you're going to use a thin board. Um, but I don't think I worry about that too much. So uh, I just soldered them on. They're at a little bit of an angle. You can see that they're kind of sloping down. And that's so on the back side, uh, I could reach in and, and solder them as well. So the front side soldered to ground, the back side soldered to ground. I haven't soldered, I haven't soldered these yet. Um, and you could also maybe just press and bend these little, yeah, they do bend. You could just press these little, uh, I don't want to break my fingernail. Uh, you could press those in to get them closer to the, uh, to the board and then solder them down. I'll probably do that. That's probably the better way to do it. Make sure that they're flat on this side with the traces and then on the back, just kind of bend them down and solder them on. So I think that's what I will do. So uh, what do I have here? Like I said, I have one that comes has a stub straight in and stops. So I've put a 51 ohm resistor right there so we can measure that as a load. And I have this one, I have a 100 picofarad capacitor so we can measure this as a through with 100 picofarads. Um, I have this one, this is just through to begin with. So we'll measure this one to see if it's actually 50 ohms. That's why I had this uh, 50 ohm load on the end. Um, if it's 50 ohm and a 50 ohm load, it should look like 50 ohms on the VNA. Uh, so I'm going to test that. And I think I'll go ahead and put a little um, uh, a thousand puff here, which is uh, from, the, from the center of the transmission line to ground. Um, so it should be a lot like this one. It'd be interesting. So maybe I should put a 50. No, I want to put a, I want to put a, um, a picofarad down there. 100 picofarad. So yeah. Um, so I'm going to load this up. And uh, on the next video, we'll uh, hook it up to the DNA and uh, see, see if it's as advertised.